Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video. In this video, I will give you more information about the top 4 best gardening shovel that are available on the market. Actually, I made this list based on their quality, price, popularity, durability, user opinion, and more. If you need more information about these products please check the link description section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to view future videos. Ok so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 4, we have Huiman Heavy Duty. Of the full-sized shovels in your tests, the Huiman Heavy Duty hits the sweet spot between weight and durability while providing just enough ergonomic extras to earn its place as your tester's favorite. With a measured rise angle of 28.8 degrees, prying up clay-heavy soils is no big deal, and the large, textured step is helpful when plunging. Your boots never slipped while testing this model, even when the going got muddy, with two generously sized tacky grip zones on the mid shaft and handle, shoveling tasks are made easier, especially from awkward positions, such as shoveling from a wheelbarrow or a truck bed when you're still standing on the ground. The blade has small serrations that help bust up roots and sticks under an inch in diameter. While it doesn't handle roots as well as the more specialized shovels, the serrations come in handy, so you won't need to switch tools as often. Moving on at number 3, we have Fisker's Long Handle. Ready for the long haul, the Fisker's Long Handle Garden Shovel is the burliest shovel they tested. In our pry tests, your 150 LB tester could not detect any flex in this shovel's handle. It's the only number 2 style digging shovel in your review with a handle welded directly to the blade, and it has a huge step with great traction for plunging into dense sediment. On top of its solid construction, the Fisker's shovel has an angled handle that makes shoveling from waist height easier and gives it a greater rise angle while allowing the shovel handle to be closer to your body when the blade is perpendicular to the ground. This shovel weighs 6 pounds and is heavier than many of its competitors, almost twice as heavy as some. At number 2, we have Radius Garden Root Slayer. The Radius Garden Root Slayer is an awesome tool for landscapers and gardeners whose main tasks are planting and repotting. However, it's still heavy duty enough for more aggressive digging and root cutting, aka slaying. Its round, ergonomic handle, and 45 inches shaft make it perfect for those crouching or working on their knees, while its large steps give you more power and leverage than the typical short, lightweight garden trowel. The blade is serrated on either side. The root slayer falls into some of the traps of other specialized shovel tools. While its blade is wider and more suited to earth moving than the narrow bladed root assassin, it still can't hold a candle to a standard, longer handled shovel, which we believe is mandatory for all day digging work. However, if your main demands of a shovel are breaking up rooty soil and digging smaller, precise holes for your plants, the root slayer has you covered. And finally at number 1. Bully Tools Round Point. During shovel testing, they discovered that not all fiberglass handles are created equal. While some flexed almost to the breaking point, the handle of the Bully Tools 14-gauge round point shovel held strong while we pried and levered rocks and roots from the earth. The blade has one of the few closed backs in your test, which is excellent for muddy jobs since it won't get clogged and heavy with dirt. The blade's overall construction is super impressive, down to the welded I-beam construction and huge 1.5 steps. This is a shovel of the highest quality. It narrowly misses the mark as your favorite because of its weight. Compared to the competition, it's too heavy for an all-around gardening shovel, though it's well suited for heavier digging jobs. This shovel is advertised as having no seam on the ferrule, but the model they tested has one such seam, though it showed no signs of separating or bending under stress. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If this video helps you, Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions related to these products, you can comment down, I hope back to you as soon as possible.